Hi everyone. Till now we learned what are LLMs in LangChain, and we also learned uh, what are Prom template and how to use Prom template with uh, LLM model. Now we will see what are chat models. So chat models are uh, variation of language model. Uh, our normal language models were using text in and text out approach. Now uh, these chat models uh, use some complex uh, structure, not much complex, but it's not normal text. So they use uh, message uh, structure uh, to uh, send data to uh, chat GPT. Now uh, let's go and use it. So if we see, uh, this is old code from LLM. If I run this, then this was the text which was uh, which we were using as query earlier. Now we will modify. Uh, we will now uh, we will uh, use chat models and we will use messages uh, instead of this string. So let's clear this out to here and here also. Uh, whatever code which was used in last video, uh, you can find it in this GitHub repo under uh, respective branches. Okay, for now, let's import from langchain dot chat models. Earlier we were importing from LLM. Now we are importing from chat model. Import chat open AI. Now let's instantiate it. So LLM equals to chat open AI. And let's see in chat open AI, it's wrapper around large language model. And uh, this is how we can instantiate it. Similar to last time, we need to pass model name and temperature. So I will just copy it from here only. Model name is GPT 3.5 Turbo. We can use GPT 4 also here. And uh, temperature equals to I will keep 0 0.7. Now we have LLM here. Let's see what happens if I try to pass a string here like last time. What is AWS? Save it and run it. Fit failed with error. Got unknown type W. Let's clear that it will not accept a string. Uh, let's create message structure and then pass inside LLM or a chat open AI model. So we need to import a schema from LangChain and uh, we need to import uh, a schema for system messages and then human messages and then AI message. Now here system message is the whatever instruction we give to chat GPT like uh, we say chat GPT you are scientist and uh, give answer questions related to physics. Uh, so whatever instruction we give to chat GPT human message are our questions like uh, tell me what is black hole and AI message is the answer written from uh, AI or language model. Now let's uh, create message here. So messages equals to first we need to pass system message, system message. And if I hold CTRL and click on the system message, then we can see description, a message for printing, um, a message for priming AI behavior usually passed in as the first of a sequence of input messages. And uh, after system message, 
we will pass human message and uh, human message says a message from human okay now in system message we need to pass the content what uh, what message we, uh, what message we want to give to system so content will just accept normal string and uh, you are a ws 35 solutions architect um, help me to learn aws now in message formatting method in human message I can pass content as I and this and want to know what is AWS now we have our message structure ready and uh, let's do this on equals to llm and here i will pass my messages i can say message equals to messages and uh, our message also will work and then print response but before calling uh, llm let's see what is the syntax or format of our message so i will print out messages and run the code so we have system message content and then human message and then example equals to false so it's uh, this is how our message looks like now let's pass it to the llm and see response Okay, so this is the log for message. This is the response from LLM and it says IDC AWS stands for Amazon Web Services and then it describes that it's pay only pay as you go model and uh, it gives short description. Now uh, what we can do is that uh, we can uh, suppose uh, we want to send one more request uh, to LLM then we can use this as AI message. So basically, we are maintaining history of whatever we are sending and whatever we are getting from uh, language model. Content equals to error. Okay, it's multi line string, so I need to do like this. No, it will work. So now we have system message, then human message, then AI message. Now, now if I put human message at the end, human message. Content equals to what is my name and why I am here. Now let's uh, remove this block or messages and run this chat prompt. Says one validation error for AI message. Not sure what's wrong. Okay, here there is typo. I missed content as 
a yen of content. Now let's run it again. Okay, this is the response which we got from here. Your name is Rishi, and as you mentioned, as you mentioned here, as an AI model, I don't have access to personal and whatever response it sent. But yeah, that's how we can maintain our messages, uh, and uh, we can keep extracting sy uh, system message we give only once. Then human AI, human AI, and uh, we can continue this interaction like we do in Chat GPT. Now let's see how to use prompt templates with chat models. So if we go to documentation and uh, in prompt template section. Then we have this chat model prompt template section. So here uh, we are given two methods to uh, pass prompt template, dynamic prompt template in um, chat model. So like uh, here uh, we are passing uh, this time instead of type passing string, uh, we are passing prompt template in form of messages. Um, there are two methods to do. I will. Uh, do this one. If you are interested, you can come to this documentation and try this one also. Both are almost same. So let's create new Python file. Prompts that model dot pi and uh, from main dot pi. I will copy these three lines and uh, also I will copy this instantiation part. So now we have environment variable loaded and uh, also our chat model is instantiated. Now we need to prepare a prompt for our uh, language model. So uh, prompt for our chat model. Uh, so let's uh, first we import from langchain dot prompts import name dot prompts import chat prompt prompt templates. Uh, okay, so it's chat prompt template. And then from langchain prompts dot chat, we have to import these two things. Okay, so it was not showing because my screening was wrong. Okay, still it's not showing. Oh, so I should have written from langchain dot prompts, not import. Okay, anyways, I will copy paste here. And uh, now let's create prompt template. So this time I will use message from equals to chat from template. Let's see what we have here. So a prompt template for chat models used to create flexible templated prompts for chat models. And uh, here we have example also. Uh, this is same example which we saw in uh, official documentation so we can create uh, messages from uh, this uh, from this chat from template by calling this method dot from messages so let's do it here from create uh, i mean uh, chat from template from messages and this messages we need to specify one array and this in this array uh, we will pass uh, first of all system message so last similar to last time system message will be uh, whatever instruction we want to give to chat model and then we have uh, human message prompt so it's uh, 
content will be uh, let's call, uh, specify content here content equals to i will use same content which were, which is given in example Okay, and in human message prompt template, uh, we need to not specify. We do not need to specify content. We can directly uh, call dot from template. So in from template, I can pass on a string and our system message. You are helpful assistant that. Uh, rewrites users text to sound more upbeat so we can just take some data from user and uh, then ai will enhance whatever we will type now we have message prompt ready let's create new variable as query message and uh, here, uh, first we need to get input from user. So let's call input data equals to input says what enter something. Now query message will be we have message prompt dot format prompt format messages. So since we created from messages, we will use format messages. I will just cross check from here. Yeah, we will use format messages. And uh, in format messages, I have data equals to uh, my input data. Input data. Now, uh, here if we compare with uh, uh, prompt template of uh, LLM model, then in our last video, we saw that we can create template like this uh, prompt template dot uh, prompt template, and uh, then we can pass a template uh, string. Same thing we are doing here. Uh, instead of specifying content, we are doing human message prompt template dot prompt template, and here we are just specifying our placeholder. Uh, now our query message is also ready. Uh, we can pass this message to LLM. So I will create response equals to LLM, and when I refer to LLM here, uh, it means chat model. So, query message and uh, then I will print response. Now, let's run it. Enter something. So, I love. Fruits and vegetables. It gave output as I absolutely adore fruits and vegetables. They are such a fantastic part of my healthy diet. So yeah, it enhanced our text, and uh, that's how we can pass uh, dynamic prompts uh, to chat model. So to summarize in this video, first we saw uh, how uh, to um, use uh, chat models and then uh, we saw how to uh, use chat model with dynamic prompts so this is it for this video thanks